In this video, we are going to talk about marine iguana having a scientific name in Blinkus cristatus. They have blunt snout and high dorsal crust in older males. They are head to tail 20 to 40 inches or 50 to 100 centimeters. Their weight is 2 to 24 pounds or 1 to 11 kg. They are vulnerable to extinction and they feed on seaweed and they are found on the Galapagos Islands as you can see in the graphical representation. So marine iguana, the remote Galapagos Islands straddling the equator in the Pacific Ocean are famed for their unique animals. The island's marine iguanas are especially interesting being the only marine lizard that feeds exclusively on seaweed. Agile in water Marine iguanas do not live in the sea but gather in colonies on rocky shorelines. They spend early hours of daylight basking in the sun so that their bodies are warm enough for a busy day of swimming and feeding. When ready lizards plunge into the deep water, diving to the depth of 33 feet or 100 meters to graze on the short seaweeds that grow on the sunlit rocks of the seaboard. An iguana can stay under for an hour if it has to, but most feeding dives last a few minutes before the animal surfaces to breathe. With its plump body and short legs, the marine iguana is ungainly on land but very agile in the water. It has partially webbed feet but swims mainly with the help of its flattened or shaped tail while the crust of spines along its back provides stability. Warm on land, a marine iguana cannot remain in the sea for long. The chilly water begins to make it lethargic and so it must get out of water regularly to warm up in the sunshine. After eating, it climbs back up the slippery rocks, gripping on with long hooked claws. Its dark leathery skin helps it to absorb heat more quickly. As it dries out, the body color becomes paler gray, with blotches of orange, green and other colors appearing. These are the most pronounced in adult males which develop a vibrant coloring to attract mares. The color are derived from the pigments in the sea, weed they eat and therefore vary from island to island. The faces of male and female marine iguanas are also streaked with white. This is the excess salt consumed in their food which is excreted through the glands in the nose. Along with the boosting body temperature, the time spent on land is an opportunity for the iguana to digest the tough seed. This is done with the aid of gut bacteria inside a bulbous fermentation chamber, hence the iguana's large and rotund figure, being not always best. Males can grow to the twice the size of females and they will cut a harem of mares from rivals during the breeding season. Conflicts are generally a show of bluff and bluster with the dominant male bobbing his head at rival who normally withdraws. If he bobs back, however, the rivals will fight each trying to show the other away with his head. Large size helps with this but is a hindrance in other ways. Bigger lasers take longer to warm up between foraging types and when seaweed cover in the water is low due to climatic events such as El Nino, they cannot feed as often as their smaller counterparts. When the food is scarce, the marine iguanas can reduce its body size including shrinking its keratin by the 100%. Underwater meal, the marine iguanas gets all of its food from the seabed. It uses its hard horny lips to scrap away the sea reduce that grows on rocks. Symbiotic relationship like other Galapagos reptiles such as the giant tortoise, the marine iguana has a symbiotic relationship with a small group of finch which cleans parasites from its skin. A marine iguana colony iguanas bask in the sunshine in colonies, their dark bodies helping them to both absorb the sun warmth and blends in among the volcanic rocks and sand. So if you like the video please subscribe the channel and stay connected to my channel for further videos.